Over the years, various fad diets have been quite popular as they promise a wide variety of benefits to individuals, although they are often restrictive. Keto, gluten-free, and intermittent fasting are terms that many people are familiar with now because of diet culture's prevalence today. People often try these diets after reading articles or hearing success stories or simply because their close friend is following one and swears their life has changed. While these diets have grown in popularity, researchers have gained important knowledge that continues to teach us how diet significantly impacts one's health. The diet one follows can play a role in obesity, metabolism, and overall health outcome, which are reasons why all of these various diets should be studied. The Mediterranean diet is one that I have heard many people talk about and seen on magazine covers and in news articles. As a result, I wanted to learn more about this diet's effects on weight loss as well as overall health, especially long term. With fad diets, people often see success early on, but oftentimes they're not sustainable or followers may feel that they've plateaued. I'm curious about this diet in particular as it seems to more closely resemble a lifestyle change with eating rather than typical dieting that frequently leads people to restricting calories, limiting or eliminating specific macronutrients such as low fat or low carb diets, or eating at specific times of the day. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the Mediterranean diet with the following question in mind. How does following the Mediterranean diet influence one's health with regard to obesity, metabolism, and overall health outcome? With this project, I hope to further grow my own knowledge of the Mediterranean diet and how it can influence health outcomes. I plan to address the benefits of this diet as well as any potential downsides. Additionally, I hope this video can be a resource and teach others about this diet and how following it or modifying one's diet with this one in mind may be helpful for their health and well-being. The Mediterranean diet resembles the diet of people living in the Mediterranean Basin, a region in Europe near the Mediterranean Sea. In this image, the area is indicated in pink. The diet is known for being composed of lots of fruits and vegetables, legumes, as well as nuts and seeds. Olive oil is an important part of the diet, as are fish and poultry. In contrast, little dairy and red meat are consumed. Research studies have investigated various benefits of following the Mediterranean diet. In one study, researchers observed how this diet can help obese children. 24 children followed a Mediterranean-style diet, and 25 followed a standard diet for control purposes. Individuals put on the Mediterranean diet were encouraged to eat foods rich in essential fatty acids and antioxidants, and have the following breakdown for their diet. 60% carbs, 25% fat, 15% protein. After 16 weeks, those who consumed the Mediterranean diet experienced decreased BMI, fat mass, lean mass, glucose, and LDL levels, and there was an increase in HDL levels. The aforementioned results can be seen in this table where it is clear that there is a greater difference over the 16 weeks in the group that was consuming the Mediterranean diet. Another study examined how the diet may provide beneficial weight loss long term. It was found that the likelihood of weight loss maintenance was twofold in those who followed the Mediterranean diet, and it is believed that some of this weight loss resulted from the incorporation of more fruits compared to typical high energy foods. Fruits and vegetables contain fiber which can help individuals to feel satiated and thus better manage their hunger. A study from the early 2000s in Greece observed how the Mediterranean diet influenced an individual's risk for cardiovascular disease. Participants were given a med diet score that was utilized to monitor their adherence, and several years later it was found that each 10% increase in the med diet score was associated with 15% lower odds of cardiovascular disease incidence. They also found that cardiovascular disease was doubled for those with metabolic syndrome and low adherence to the Mediterranean diet. Because this diet promotes the consumption of fatty acids, some studies have taken a look at the diet's effect on heart health. For example, researchers in Spain had three different groups follow three different diets to see how each one affected the incidence of cardiovascular events in people who were high risk. One group followed a low-fat diet for control while the other two followed the Mediterranean diet and consumed olive oil or nuts. They tracked events such as myocardial infarction, stroke, or death due to cardiovascular health and found that fewer events occurred in the groups consuming the Mediterranean diet than the group following the low-fat diet. A similar study from Spain saw that individuals following the Mediterranean diet who consumed nuts or olive oil had better cognitive function than the control group. Participants in this study were men aged 55 to 80 and women aged 60 to 80. These participants were high cardiovascular risk and were either type 2 diabetics or possessed three of the following. They were smokers, had high blood pressure, 
had high cholesterol, were overweight or obese, or had a family history of early onset coronary heart disease. Based on this research, following a Mediterranean diet appears to be very beneficial for many reasons. Long-term weight loss, lower risk for cardiovascular disease, better cognitive function with aging, and improvements to several markers of health such as LDL cholesterol and fat mass suggest that following this diet is advantageous and something people ought to consider. I'm curious to learn more about how the different components of this diet lead to such benefits and whether or not making a few changes to resemble this diet could still be greatly significant. It should be noted that there are some potential downsides to this diet as there are with many others. For example, an increase in fat consumption from nuts and olive oil may lead to weight gain, less meat may lead to low iron, and less dairy could lead to low calcium. It's also possible that if one is too strict with not having treats on occasion or in moderation, that this diet could create a negative relationship with desserts or other special foods. While it is great that this diet encourages the consumption of healthier foods and fewer processed foods, this way of eating can be more expensive and some people may not have the access to this food or the income to support this diet. With that being said, these individuals would likely still reap some significant benefits by making a few adjustments, such as cooking with olive oil instead of purchasing fried foods, eating less red meat, or prioritizing fruits and vegetables more. Overall, the Mediterranean diet seems to be very promising and positive, although further research is needed to confirm these benefits and add to our knowledge. Some of the studies take susceptibility or genetic predisposition into consideration, while others do not. So this is an aspect that should be explored in future studies and research. Compared to many other diets out there, the Mediterranean diet seems like a more sustainable and healthy option. These research articles support certain claims that people may see in magazines, but it is important to remember that these studies should be repeated to determine their efficacy, and also, everyone is different, so the results are bound to vary from person to person regardless. I hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed learning about the Mediterranean diet. I encourage you to take a look at your own diet and consider adopting some of the changes mentioned in this video. You might just find a new favorite food or a love for healthy cooking. Thanks for watching.